Man, I never thought Doc. We should talk. You're right. Let's talk about how your mother just turned one of my best friends against us. I am sorry about Dr. Banner. It is always hard when our comrades fall. I appreciate that, Hunter. But you don't have to tell me about war. I fought my share of them. Then you know the risk. As did he. We're all willing to risk our lives. But this is different. What Lilith did to Banner was unthinkable. She changed him. <sighs> Listen, I know what happened to Bruce isn't your fault. But... But I'd be a fool if I said I trust you completely. You're Lilith's kid. Could your mother turn you the same way she turned Bruce? What if she has already? If that were the case, none of you would be standing here right now. You might be right, which is part of the problem. Oh, I don't know anymore. This is beyond anything I've ever faced before. These people look to me for guidance, but it feels like I'm stumbling around in the dark. I was told you are a soldier. I was. A long time ago. Then you know war is always uncertain. Learn from this experience, and ensure that it never happens again. Or give in to doubt, and surrender now. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Not exactly my branch of the service, but I get the point. You know, I think I might have misjudged you, Hunter. I am the child of the Dark Mother. It is only right for you to be wary. I appreciate that, but the truth is, I was angry about Bruce, and I took it out on you. That's on me. I'm sorry. Let's start over. Hi. I'm Steve Rogers. What do you say we get to know each other? Are all modern soldiers as well trained as you? I haven't been a soldier since 1945. Then why do they call you Captain America? You could say it was an old nickname that just stuck. You still have not answered my question. Listen, today's soldiers are some of the bravest, most dedicated people I've ever known. But my training was different. I volunteered for a special procedure in hopes of creating the world's first super soldier. It worked. But the man who invented it, Dr. Erskine, was killed soon after. So to answer your question, I'm the only one. There is something about you that I cannot place. You seem different from your friends, almost. <laughs> Older? I suppose so, yes. I get that a lot. Last time I checked, I was 102. But honestly, I stopped counting. It's weird even for me. I was in a plane crash near the end of World War II. Went into the ice in 45 and stayed frozen for, well, long enough. When they finally fished me out, the world I knew was long gone. I understand we have that in common. It has been an adjustment. Believe me, I know. The world has changed a lot since you were last here. But if you need help or just need to talk it out, I'm here, anytime. I sense there is a past between you and Crossbones. He is a mercenary. Real name, Brock Rumlow. Does not seem to like you very much. We go way back. He even killed me once. So you are an immortal. Only if you listen to the Avengers marketing team. It's a long story, but no, I bleed just the same as you. Well, not, not the same as you, or... Carol, or Bruce, even Tony and Steven, I guess, but look, I'm mortal. I am glad we had a chance to speak, Steve Rogers. I am too, Hunter. You're not too bad at this leadership thing yourself. Starting to feel like I could go another 12 rounds. No time like the present. See you around, Hunter. We all know what's going to happen with Banner and Lilith, and 
and it rhymes with the word salt. Only when Bama gets salt, whoever he hurts is going to be on Pony's hands. It doesn't really matter what Pony could have done. We must live with it. Lilith has a hope now. And here I thought we were in this shit before. Now that Banner has turned all evil scientist, I'm worried about what he'll do to Wanda. I don't want to think about it. I just want her home. There goes my dream of living in the Avengers Tower. Lilith ain't messing around this year. Hashtag, who avenges the Avengers is... MJ must be freaking out. Maybe we can call this place... The Avengers Ab. That's a nice ring to me. I told you I don't want to talk about it. Not talking about it won't make it less real. Banner has betrayed us and the tower has fallen. As Lilith rises, we fall. We were always so worried about the damage the Hulk could do. Quietly cheered to ourselves when we thought he might be gone for good. We never once considered what Banner's mind is capable of, unhinged. I should have seen this coming. Beating yourself up will not bring the tower back. I should know. I've been where you are now, spending countless hours blaming myself for the loss of the Sanctum for Wanda. Yeah? Well, maybe you didn't blame yourself enough. Some of us don't shrug off our failures so casually. I know you're angry, but if you're looking for a punching bag, may I suggest using the one in the yard and not me? There you go again. Throwing in the towel before the fight is over. You're the only one who's fighting. Now take it outside, Tony. I've had enough. I fear the loss of his tower might break, Tony. I wish I could comfort him, but... Alas, I fear he's tired of me. Perhaps you will have better luck reaching him. None can foresee the role Banner has yet to play. Perhaps Banner still may prove an ally before the end. We're in a war for the... Nah, that's not right. This is where the Midnight Suns were born. This is our superhero hideout. Let me guess, you're here to tell me I screwed up. That I should have taken the shot at Banner when I had the chance. Go ahead, Hunter. What are you waiting for? Say it! Tell me I screwed up! You did not do anything wrong, Tony. You just could not bring yourself to kill your comrade. I was weak. I let my love for him get in the way. No, Tony. Your loyalty and empathy are strengths, not weaknesses. The hell they are! They blinded me to what was actually going on! Damn it! why didn't I see Bruce slipping away? I should have known something was going on with him. All the red flags were there, and I ignored them. Some grand genius I am. I have three masters, a PhD from MI freaking T, and I sat at the helm of one of the planet's greatest companies, but I couldn't even see what was screaming right in front of my face. How did I let him play me like that? Banner did not fool just you. He fooled us all. Yeah, well, if anyone here should be foolproof, it should be me. You are not the first brilliant man Lilith has deceived. We are not in control anymore, Tony. No one is safe. No fortress impenetrable. Not now. With my mother emboldening Hydra forces, there is nothing she cannot touch. You know, this, this little pep talk isn't really working for me. And perhaps I should take my leave. Yeah, you do that, boss. Leave. Well, you know my thoughts. find it a little difficult to shoot at our friends. I get where Tony's coming. You wanted a word? Yes, about Banner. Do not worry, Sarah. I will take care of him. I wish it was that simple. You need to fully understand the gravity of the threat he poses to us now. Banner is a brilliant scientist. No doubt Lilith will find a way to exploit that. You've never met his alter ego. 
See, Lilith doesn't just have Banner's genius IQ at her disposal. She has the Hulk, and that's like having a god fight by her side. God or not, he's not invincible. That's just the thing. For all intents and purposes, the Hulk is invincible. Or close to it. But I don't need to convince you. You will see soon enough. Okay. I've said my piece. I just hope you heard it. You've never fought anything like the Hulk before. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna say... Not good. Nope. Don't like losing the Avengers Tower. This can't be happening. Oh, it pains me to see you so angry with me. As it pains me to lose a valued friend. Bruce would be pleased to know you feel as such. He appreciates your companionship as well. You misunderstand me. I do not miss Dr. Banner. I mourn him. Yet another soul fallen to your twisted call. More lies taught to you by Sarah and her pet witch. I do not compel Dr. Banner. I released him. Released him from the shackles of those who've sought to control him his entire life. Such a unique mind. Such a powerful soul. Held in check for so long by his lesser. I cannot help but see the similarity to you, precious child. Will you not allow me to help you achieve the same? To find a true purpose. Achieve peace. I will only know peace upon your death. And I would happily die for you, if it would truly give you that. I am sure. But we both know it is far more complicated than that. My sister has raised you to be a weapon. Tricked you into believing that's all you are, all you want to be. I am here to show you you are more than that. When the time comes, you will stand by my side. Freely. I would never have it otherwise. And I thought I was the one who was dreaming. You have been asleep far too long, child. You must pierce the veil of their false prophecy and... Wake up! Never get used to that. Here if you need me. It turns out Tony does occasionally make. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Third step. What can I say except you're welcome?
What do you think? Interesting. This should be useful. Why are you acting surprised, Nico? The Avengers only kept. What do you think? You don't think this whole Bruce Wanda thing is fair either, right? Fair? What do you mean, Nico? All they care about is losing Bruce. It's as if Wanda never existed. Who was there for us when Wanda was taken, huh? Banner was an Avenger, one of the... Surely you can... Not if they're not going... Wanda's a Midnight Sun. Our lives should matter just as much as theirs freaking do. You know, I bet if they had a shot... How... No! Oh, and you were so close to knocking that gorilla off its platform. Retro are more hardcore than the ones they come out with today? Yeah, but isn't there such thing as two?